the brown bear fits into our program to where it uh, cuts our drying time down at least 50 percent, which helps us to its uh, operations. It doesn't break down where we have expense of fixing and repair. It makes uh, our wind rows three to four feet high, which cuts down on our storage and helps turn our biosols to where it's uh, dirt dry. At Brown Bear, our best salespeople are our customers. Chester Barkell, I'm the biosols program coordinator for Cheyenne, Wyoming, for the Board of Public Utilities. I've been working with them for 14 years. I've been involved in the biosolids for three years. The process here is used as air dried. We uh, turn our biosolids into windrows out into the drying bed. We dry our biosolids anywhere from 60 to 70 percent. And then we haul it out and we store it. We've got a storage zone. There we uh, still turn the biosolids at least 65 to 85 percent, and then we land apply our biosolids on pasture land. Once Chet has used the Brown Bear Model 300 to dry the sludge to 85 percent solids, he loads it with this cat loader and spreads five tons per acre onto 5,000 acres of pasture land with this Ford truck spreader, disposing of 1,400 metric dry tons per year. Here we see the sludge near the beginning of the drying bed process. As Chet stated, the sludge enters the bed at around 10% solids. At this point, the brown bear's job is to simply break the crust, which accelerates solar and wind drying, destroys fly eggs, and assists in controlling noxious odors by exposing 100% of the material to oxygen for absorption. The brown bear auger aerators are the only turners that build their own windrows as they dry the material, increasing the exposed surface area, which increases drying. As you can see, the aerator's reverse rotation works the windrow from the bottom up and to the side, aerating all material to ground level. This method of moving and reestablishing the windrow in one pass means maximum oxygen incorporation and eliminates the chance of anaerobic pockets. Notice that alleyways are not required with this machine, so there is a great reduction in space requirements. The jagged teeth of the auger pulverize material to create a fine textured finished sludge for easier, more uniform spreadability. Also, observe how the teeth are positioned to throw the material ahead of it. This allows for more material to be handled and leaves a more porous windrow for oxygen flow. In comparison to mechanical dewatering systems, the brown bear aerators have a lower capital investment and are more economical to operate. Backed by 15 years of experience, the American-made brown bear augers are quality machines made with quality components, such as CAT and Cummins engines, and Eaton and Sunstrand pumps and motors. But don't listen to me, listen to a customer. Like I said before, it cuts our drying time down at least 50%. For additional information on brown bear auger aerators, please contact our...